Dynasty when even the games on Sunday yes. matter most. Hey, you'd love to see it. This is what everyone plays for. This is what everyone prepares for. Both teams have clinched the playoffs. Atlanta, they have won both games against Washington this season. Washington looking to get in the dub column against this dream squad. Here's Parker, eight on the shot clock. Howard with four seconds. That falls as Atlanta gets on the board first. Well, you saw Elena Deladon trying to rotate to get a hand up on Ryan Howard. She knocks it in just over two threes per contest. And Billings gave a nice screen right ahead of time to disrupt the contest. Cloud, double cross court. Atkins, extra one to Sykes in the corner. Matches the three, and we're tied at three. Three, three. But listen, Brittany Sykes is up for Defensive Player of the Year. But she's a three and D and all three level scorer for the Washington Mystics this year. Ryan Howard in only her second season in the league has been tremendous. She was an all-star this year for Atlanta. But it's slim for me. A nice kick by Ariel Atkins to the corner. And a triple goes down for Brittany Sykes, and she has just had an electrifying season here in D.C. for the Mystics. She's stayed consistent. You don't just scheme for what she can do on the offensive end. You scheme for where she is on the floor as a defender as well. Four seconds, Howard has to launch it. Doesn't go. Rebounded and kept alive by D. Rob as the Dream will have a reset now at 10 seconds. Here's Gray looking to go to Billings, but calls her own number. Doesn't go. Loose ball on the ground. Gray will collect, and that's another opportunity offensively for the Dream. Well, those are the possessions that will matter as the game continues to evolve. The 50-50 opportunities that Atlanta cashes in on. Beautiful pull-up move there from Howard as she gets that to fall. Has all five here to start. Another player that's a great three-level scorer. Deladon, the slow spin doesn't go. Howard controlling. Howard pushing. Well, Billings was sitting down low with Cloud behind her. Wanted a touch. Had a double-double in their last game. And the ball out of bounds. It'll be Mystics basketball. You see the series history between these two teams. The Mystics with a slight advantage, 31-26 overall. And Atlanta has had a tough time on the road. They haven't won on the road since July 7th as that one pops out by Deladon. Robinson tried to slip it to Parker. Taken away by Hines Allen in transition. Going right at D-Rob and they're going to get a blocking foul called. Oh, that was certainly close. But it's all about the defense for this Washington Mystics team. And that's what Tanisha Wright said. She said this is one of the best teams in the league defensively because they packed the lane so hard. And you see D-Rob not getting established prior to the gather by Maisha Hines out. Tanisha Wright was talking about how Washington plays so hard up the line. The weak side coverage is there. They rotate and scramble defensively and stay on the string. Eric Thibault pleased, obviously, with the offensive production in their last game. And third in a row on the road. Shot 57% from two and three and made all their free throws. Here's Gray. They go inside to Parker. 12 on the shot clock. Parker, the double comes on the bounce, taken away by Deladon. Deladon pushing. Sykes drops it off for Hines Allen who lays it up and in. Was just flat out tough. Extra pass by Brittany Sykes there. Beautifully executed. Sykes on the deflection. Well, when you talk about bringing your energy to the floor, it starts on the defensive end. Your defense starts your offense. Double team comes. Blitz gets a turnover for the Mystics. Point forward. Elena Deladon with a no looker, but then that one was a little better. The dime to Maisha Hines Allen, who had filled the lane perfectly on the rim run to complete the play. Atlanta, three turnovers here to start the ball game. Howard the triple. That one doesn't go. Billings tried to keep it alive and being cognizant of what you want to do with something Coach Wright said. They had to be perfect on this. Sykes left that short. Oh, she tried it, though. That was tough. Her arms are so long. She was on the opposite side of the floor, and her arm alone came across. Tried to get that reversal to go. 
Howard off the screen. Tracks down her own miss, will take again, and this time makes. Well, Ariel Atkins, you saw her hit the deck there wearing that mask. After the nasal fracture, a handful of games ago. Yeah, got that elbow from Asia Wilson in that first game of the road trip that they just completed. Della Dawn, step back, baseline, jumper rattles through. Listen, Elena Della Dawn will lull you to sleep, get her ten toes down in the short corner pinch post area, rise up and hang in the air as you're coming down. I mean, just phenomenal in terms of her surgical execution. Parker. And a foul called on Ariel Atkins. Tori Walker Kimbrough and Tiana Hawkins checking in. Well, the Atlanta Dream, they're doing a good job of getting themselves extra possessions by crashing the offensive boards. And then on the other side, Elena Deladon putting it on the deck, and then that fader. Mm. Pure from the corner. Now it's Hillman also into the game for Atlanta. Here's Howard. Pull up jumper doesn't go. Hillman on the offensive glass. On the post up. 10 on the shot clock. On the kick out, here's Parker, corner pocket. Well, Atlanta, again, doing a good job of getting second and third chance opportunities and making Washington pay for not boxing them out. Hines Allen slipping on the pick and roll and a great find from Cloud. And fantastic passing by both teams to open this one. Four assists for Washington on four made buckets and two assists on four made buckets for the dream. As Gray tried to come up with the steal. And then checks on Sykes. Tied at 10 here early. Well, unselfish play has been the MO for both teams. Nas Hillman right there trying to find a way to the rim. Double team came, a kick out to the corner. And Atlanta gets that to go. And a superb dime and find and awareness by Natasha Cloud throwing it downstairs for a deuce for the Mystics. Haley Jones into the ball game for Atlanta. Cloud off the cross, hangs. Too strong off the window as Gray comes up with it and has to check the glasses to make sure that she can get him back on. Well, I love how Cloud continues to serpentine and attack her way to the rim. You see a little zone here from the Mystics trying to bump off. Here's Jones. Five on the shot clock. Hillman comes back middle. Too strong. But a whistle and a foul. And they're going to call it on Hawkins. We've got a timeout on the floor. You're watching the Friday Night Spotlight presented by State Farm. Tied at 10. Let's take a look at the upcoming WNBA National TV schedule. Following us, we will take you to the West Coast at 10 p.m. Eastern right here on ION. The Mercury hosting the Aces. Sunday, you can catch some action on both CBS Sports Network and ESPN2. And then the playoffs, ooh, baby. They officially begin on Wednesday on ESPN2. For more on these games, please go to WNBA.com or visit the WNBA app. As we take a look, Christy, at your keys to tonight's matchup. Well, when you're looking at what has been most successful for both of these teams, for Atlanta, it's been their glasswork, their third best in the WNBA, averaging 40 rebounds per contest. And then for the Mystics, their paint defense has to be on point because this Atlanta Dream Team in their wins, they have averaged 40 or more points in the paint. And in their losses, only 32 points. So they have to do their due diligence to contain the painted area. But also, they've got to do a good job of of really sharing the basketball too is what they're doing, but they're going to keep Atlanta off the glass. And we've seen that. The second chance points have been immaculate for the dream to start the game. They have seven off of four offensive rebounds. Paul Evans, it's like he knew that you wanted to talk about that. And Absolutely. to your paint point, the Mystics have a four-nothing advantage.